Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review at a folding stand for tablets and smartphones alike from Ebon Cool. This sells on Amazon for about 10 bucks, so it's not too expensive. And we've seen a few aluminum stands in the past, but this one can be folded up for transportation uh, as well. So when you're traveling, you can still take this with you. It is made out of aluminum, so it's quite sturdy and should support the weight of he heavier tablets as well, such as an Apple iPad or let's say uh, the Samsung Series 7 Windows tablet. Um, otherwise, it has a pretty simple design going on the back just features a bit of info about the unit. It does have a few rubber feet, which prevents it from sliding around and from scratching the surface of your tablet or your smartphone, and allows you to more easily enjoy content such as watching videos or web browsing without having to support the weight of your device the entire time. So you can take it with you on a plane or when you're traveling and enjoy your media uh, in a bit more uh, of, of comfort. So here we have the actual stand itself. Again, it is made out of a solid piece of aluminum, so it's quite sturdy. It has some rubber accents on the top as well as on the inside to prevent the unit from sliding off or from getting damaged. Otherwise, the back features a complete surface made out of rubber, which allows it to stick very firmly onto a surface without sliding off uh, because it is on the lightweight side of the spectrum. And when you're ready to use it, you can just tilt it up by kind of folding and applying a bit of pressure, and you can see that the hinge begins to move. It is quite a strong hinge, so despite the fact that you can move it with your hands, the tablet itself will not accidentally push it back and so on and so forth. So next, we're going to take a device and pop it on here and show you guys what it looks like when you're doing content with this stand. Doing a quick demo, you can see that a large 10-inch tablet rests comfortably on this aluminum stand. It doesn't wobble or fall over, and the slight divot in the center here is useful for tapping on those uh, center keys, which are common with uh, Microsoft Windows tablets, and iPad, and even Android tablets these days. So it does work very well. You can then go ahead and do anything such as attach a keyboard, so you can uh, be a bit more product productive and create this uh, pseudo desktop setup, and you can also add things such as a map else uh, to complete that experience, of course. To do a quick demo of something that's a bit smaller, so for instance a phone that you might have, again this is an Android device, you can see that it still works in either orientation, it doesn't topple over very easily, and you can of course adjust the angle if you want by kind of pushing on the hinge there, and the same thing can be said, you can add a keyboard of course if you have OTG support on your phone, or you can just leave it as is and watch a few YouTube clips or browse the web in a bit more comfort without having to hold the thing in your hand. Of course, in terms of the size, it actually is pretty versatile. So as far as the width is concerned, I at first thought it's only going to work with a lot of modern tablets, which are relatively slim, but then I dug up something quite old. So if you're someone who has a bit more um, older, more nostalgic tech laying around, such as this extremely old B-Score power handheld, which is bulky because it has this uh, slide-out QWERTY keyboard, it actually fits very comfortably into the stand as well. We didn't have any issues in terms of it not fitting in. So all in all, it does a very good job of uh, you know being able to display in addition to allow you to watch content without holding it for a wide range of products, new and old. So anyways, guys, this has been a quick video first look and review of this pretty versatile aluminum stand, and you can check out more details about this in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.